welcome to the Royal Daily Tea YouTube channel. Please be advised all of my videos are for entertainment purposes only, based 100% on my own opinion, my own theories, and my own research. All of my information can be found on the public domain and falls under the fair use guidelines. Please feel free to do your own research. Good afternoon and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. So today we're going to talk about Meghan Markle's 40th birthday video that she released on her 40th birthday. Now I know a lot of people have already seen it and already talked about it, but I just wanted to give you my thoughts. So as you know, Meghan Markle turned 40 on August 4th and she released a surprise video announcement of her new initiative to help women affected by the pandemic re-enter the workforce. In the announcement video of her new 40 by 40 initiative, Megan wore a cozy monochromatic outfit, including a white sweater, a tank top, and lounge pants. Now, a lot of people were laughing because it looked like she's wearing a wife beater, I guess she is, in the video. And then, of course, she coupled it with a pair of very expensive, Manano Blonic High Heels, which of course we all wear at home, right? That's just our average off-duty outfit. So I have to say she did look beautiful and radiant in the video. She did, of course, wear two Zodiac necklaces uh, that were by LA-based jewelry designer Logan Hollowell. She had a constellation for Archie and one for Lilibet. These necklaces, of course, were very expensive, starting at $1,600 and $1,700, just what the average mom and woman is going to wear when she re-enters the workforce. Again, tone deaf. So she's sitting behind this very beautiful, elaborate table, very ornate desk set up with a lot of well-placed items. We'll get into that in a minute. But in the video, she does a comedic skit with actress and comedian Melissa McCarthy. Now, a lot of people are giving Melissa McCarthy a very hard time, saying they'll never watch another movie of her. I can't believe she would appear with Meghan Markle. I'm so disappointed. I, I don't care if she did it or not. I'm still a fan. You know, she was doing it from a point of charity. She was probably asked to appear in the skit, and of course she did. You know, it's a good concept. You know, it's a nice thought that Megan is asking 40 of her elitist friends to donate 40 minutes of their time to mentor less fortunate women re-entering the workforce. It is a beautiful thought. Not very realistic and probably not even going to be done, but it's a nice thought. Again, cotton candy spinning, that beautiful machine that Megan likes to spew out to the masses. Again, she's aerial. She's wearing white. I mean, what's not to like? So again, she looked beautiful in the video. I do have some desk envy. Her desk was gorgeous. She had a lot of really pretty, ornate, and very expensive accessories. Uh, of course, she had the Hermes blanket that a lot of people mentioned draped over the, you know, the chair that Harry supposedly sits in. I don't believe for one minute that the two of them actually sit at this desk and do any work. I believe this was set up solely for the video. They show her drinking tea out of this fine bone china looking very beautiful and ornate. Now, if you actually look at the chairs that she's sitting in, those are not desk chairs. Those are fancy chairs. I can't imagine anyone working for eight hours in that chair. That's not a very, what is it, ergomatic chair. Again, everything was well-placed. We had the matching trays with the tea and the planners. And my favorite part was all the copies of the bench, of course, where she was propping her laptop up on all those bench copies. I mean, can you get any more cheesy than that? I don't know. So I, I did find it a little strange how she had all her book copies there. She had a crystal, the matching planners, like they sit there together and just plan out their day like a working couple. It was so fake and so contrite. Again, very cotton candy, trying to spin out positive press pieces. And Melissa McCarthy was trying super hard to make it funny and engaging. And it was just, it fell flat. 
I don't blame Melissa McCarthy. She was trying to engage with Megan, but Megan is just not funny. She's not funny. It was it went over like a lead balloon. Comedy is not her strong suit. It came across as very ungenuine and very forced and very fake. Now, I'm sure the initiative in Megan's head is this beautiful thing that's going to change the world. Unfortunately, a lot of people are upset with this initiative because it's kind of a copy of the Nelson Mandela initiative. There is an initiative um, that happens every day on Mandela Day where they encourage citizens to spend 67 minutes of their time in service in, you know, to others in need. These 67 minutes are in appreciation of the 67 years that Nelson Mandela uh, spent fighting for justice and equality and human rights for all. Not exactly in the same category as, oh, it's Megan's 40th birthday. Fighting for justice for 67 years and celebrating your 40th birthday. It seems like a very egomatic way to say, I'm 40, so everyone should just do 40 minutes of charity because it's my 40th in celebration of me and celebration of Megan. What exactly has Megan done that she would do this initiative 40 by 40? You know what I mean? It's very egomatic to me. Uh, Nelson Mandela, the 67 uh, minutes represents 67 years of fighting for human rights for all. That's a very big initiative. Megan doing 40 minutes with 40 of her elitist friends because she's 40. It's kind of like, okay, what has Megan contributed to the world exactly? Again, she, she has illusions of grandeur. You know, I'm the Duchess, therefore everyone should be like me. Uh, I'm sitting here in my very inexpensive outfit with my $3,000 high heels and my $3,000 necklaces, but I'm just like everyone else. So let's celebrate me. Let's make me a holiday. Let's turn me into a charity initiative that everyone every year on my birthday is going to do the 40 minutes. Do you know what I mean? Like it just came across like a lead balloon. Um, I just find that extremely weird that she would do this. And of course, Melissa McCarthy was playing up the whole royal thing. She had her fascinator on. She was wearing the, the gloves and the tea. They were all trying to make it funny. But the fact that Meghan is not even part of the royal family anymore and not really a duchess, why would you do the whole royal bit? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, if she was in the palace, it would be funny. But she's in Montecito. She's not a duchess anymore. She walked away. So why... Are you pretending like you're talking to royalty and you're doing the tea? I just found that whole thing funny. And they did have a couple of jokes where they mentioned a yacht. So I don't know, is that a swipe at her yacht days? Are they making fun? Or was that just a really bad joke that they didn't realize kind of went back to her yacht days? You'll have to watch the video. I'll link it below. Again, Melissa McCarthy was trying super hard to make this funny and engaging, but Megan was like a, a lead balloon. It was really bad. And then my favorite part, besides the cute little dog, that was literally the best part of the video, was Harry. Supposedly in the blooper, Harry's standing outside the window and he's juggling. He looks like a buffoon. You guys, he looks like a royal joker, a royal buffoon. He's that dumb. He couldn't even be with her in the video sitting next to her. No, he has to be outside at the window making a joke and juggling and they're all laughing like, oh, Harry, you're so funny. He looks like an idiot. Seriously. It was like, this is the Megan show and Harry, you're in your place outside. It was, again, cringeworthy. And, you know, they portray him as a guy who's not the sharpest tool in the shed and he doesn't seem to uh, shed any light to prove us wrong. He looked like a royal dunce and a a jokester. I was embarrassed for him. I got secondhand embarrassment. And the fact that they left that in the video, like, oh, isn't that funny? It's like, you look like a joke. Your wife's so serious and serene and pretty, and I've got this very serious charity thing. Meanwhile, I'm outside like a royal dance juggling in the window. I'm, not, I'm an ex-royal prince. This is my contribution. Again, it just, it was cringeworthy to say the least. Uh, the positive things I will say was that she had a beautiful office. She looked pretty. 
There was no glimpses of Archie or Lily besides that very small photo in the corner. And my favorite part, though, has to be from Princess Eugenie. Now, Princess Eugenie decided to give Megan a birthday wish. She jumped on the bandwagon. I don't know if she was asked to be a part of this initiative or not, but on her Instagram stories, Princess Eugenie said to celebrate dear Megan's 40th birthday, I'm contributing 40 minutes of mentorship to support women re-entering the workforce. For women who give everything, we give our time. Are you in? Hashtag 40 by 40. In the past two years, tens of millions of women around the world have departed the workforce. If you can, please join me and commit 40 minutes to community service or mentorship. So I find that a little odd how she pledged her allegiance to Megan and offered this as her birthday gift. Again, it was a very nice sentiment and thing to do. Women supporting women. I think that's wonderful. However, I do find it a little suspect that she jumped on the bandwagon considering they have a very weird history together and there's a lot of interesting stories about her husband in the press. And of course, Sarah Ferguson, as of late, has been speaking out in support of the Sussexes. Uh, so again, that's going to be a whole other video, but I just found it very weird that she jumped on the bandwagon to support Megan. Who knows if Megan even asked her to do it. But again, it was out there and it just kind of made me wonder like, hmm, what's going on with the Yorks? That whole family dynamic is being very strange as late. So I will do a video, if you like, on that and give you my thoughts. But what do you guys think of Megan's new 40 by 40 initiative? Do you think it's something that's going to take off and be very successful? Or do you think it's just a PR stunt that she's doing to make herself look good for her 40th birthday and put out another piece of cotton candy press? Leave me your comments down below. As always, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm working really hard to produce content that you like. So please let me know the content you would love to see. Please help me grow my channel by sharing, liking, and subscribing. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you and have an awesome day.